Hey guys, Harsh here from Shout Me Loud and welcome to my YouTube channel and those who are watching on Facebook, welcome to my video. So I do a lot of videos related to blogging and WordPress and today video is about WordPress. So if you have a WordPress blog or if you're planning to have a WordPress blog, this video is going to help you because I'm going to talk about one plugin which is very popular and at the same time configuring this plugin is a challenge for many a newbie so this would help you to understand how to use the plugin and the plugin which i'm talking about is jetpack uh, this plugin is by the wordpress creator team and it adds a lot of functionality uh, basically it connects you to wordpress.com blog and offer a lot of great features that uh, you can use with this one plugin but at the same time uh, one of the good thing about jetpack that it adds a lot of feature but if you use all the feature, it tends to slow down your blog. So in this video, you learn everything about Jetpack. And if you have any additional question, feel free to ask me in the comment section. So uh, I already have Jetpack plugin installed and configured. So I'll show you from there. If you're installing it for the first time, uh, you need to connect it to your WordPress.com account. If you don't have one, um, no problem. You can go ahead and create a free WordPress.com account. It would hardly take a minute. You just need to connect your blog to your Jetpack to your WordPress.com account. If you're using a cache plugin, ensure that you flush your cache before doing that. Otherwise, you might get the connection error where you won't be able to connect Jetpack with your WordPress.com account. So I assume you already have done that. So here is how it works. So this is where you'll get the settings for Jetpack. So Jetpack have one great thing that's called modules. So they keep changing their dashboard, which is pretty good. So here you can see, you know, like there are like a lot of options that modules basically that you can use. So I'll just give you an overview of few of the modules. So Photon is a free CDN offered by WordPress.com that you can use to speed up your blog loading time and it's free which is pretty good i don't use it because i'm using cloudflare and it also offers free cdn and i find it much better than using photon protect is another free module which is very good for making your wordpress blog secure so basically it prevents from brute force attacks single sign on let's skip this one monitor it basically notify you when your site goes down and this is one feature you should enable because sometimes you won't even get to know that your blog was down or is down so WordPress, they have free and paid modules. WordPress is the backup module and I have been using it for a while. And if you are concerned about your blog, I would suggest buy a WordPress subscription. I think it's about $5 a month for a serious blog, which is actually making money. I think it's a pretty great option. Now, this is one feature that I really love site stats. And let me show you with the site stats, you can see your blog stats from the dashboard. So many of you might be using Google Analytics, which is pretty good. It gives you advanced data. Site stats give you data inside your dashboard. And I kind of like it. And especially if you're using a WordPress mobile app, you can see all the stats from your WordPress mobile app on your Android or iPhone. Now there are a few other options sharing. So you can click on all the options and you can see, you know, what that option does. So this one adds social sharing button. I'm already using it on my blog. Publicize is another great feature. So you can automatically share your new published blog post to Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. So they have few options. Let me just see what are the options they have. And this feature, I mean, you know, like this will automate your social media marketing. Pretty great service. And then they have related posts, though I don't like it much because uh, there is very few configuration option. So, you know, these are the tool that you can use and, and there are a few more features that you can click here. So these are all the modules and to see this page, you can actually click on Jetpack settings and you can always click on popular to see which are the most popular module. Uh, you can see which all uh, modules are activated. So this all modules which I am using on Shout Me Loud. It's a good idea. You can use all this module and figure out what they are used for and why I'm using that. I'm very sure it would help you in your blog. Then you can click on inactive and go through, you know, like just click on the module, see what this module does, see if you really need them. Uh, whatever module that you don't need them, I suggest you to disable them. Otherwise it will increase the load time of your blog. So whatever module that you have activated, you can always click on, you know, configure and make extra changes there. So that's a pretty great idea. And so this is what about Jetpack. I mean, this is one of those plugins that is very popular and used by many bloggers, including me. And I recommend you to use this. 
and let me know if you have any question about jetpack and if you want me to do another video on jetpack any particular feature let me know feel free to request another video on wordpress let me know on which topic you want me to do a video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video bye bye